God's law was permeated with his glory and reflected his holiness and righteousness. Though God was gracious in the Old Testament, the law was not an instrument of grace because the law saved no one. In Romans chapter 3, verse 20 through 22, Galatians chapter 2, verse 16, and also in chapter 3, verse 10 through 12. It merely convicts sinners of their inability to keep perfectly God's righteous standards and condemns them to the eternal punishment of divine justice. Thus, it reveals their need for the grace of forgiveness. Jesus Christ, however, brought the full realization of grace and truth. In him, the truth of God's salvation was fully revealed and accomplished. God also was made visible with a clarity never before seen or known. No one has seen God at any time. Jesus declared of the years before his appearing in John chapter 6, verse 46. Not merely because he is a spirit who is invisible, but more important, because to do so would bring instant death. It is through Jesus Christ the image of the invisible God in Galatians chapter 1 verse 15 that God is revealed. God who cannot be known unless he reveals himself became most fully known because Jesus explained him. Jesus is the explanation of God. He is the answer to the question, what is God like? Jesus is the only one qualified to interpret God to man, since no one knows the Son except the Father, nor does anyone know the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wills to reveal him. In Matthew chapter 11, verse 27. Now ask yourself, what is something of God that he has explained to you recently some facet of his nature and character that has been revealed to you through your interaction with him. Aren't you glad he has chosen to make himself known? Amen. God bless you. Until next time.